Hi everyone and welcome to Take A Review. My name is John and today we're going to be taking a look at the Oculus Rift S. What you get in the box, how to set it up and a quick first look. So let's get this open, take a look inside. One of the biggest changes to the Oculus Rift S is InSight tracking, which does away with the need for any external sensors to track your position. Screen resolution also gets a bit of a bump from 1200 by 1080 to 1280 by 1440, with a screen refresh rate of 80 Hz. Cable length from the headset to your PC is approximately 16 feet, giving you plenty of room to move. On the back of the box, you get some more details and some of the much anticipated games due to be released. Okay, now to the fun part. Let's get this box open, see what's inside, and let's get it out and get it set up. So we know we've got two new controllers, which you can see the, uh, the sensing ring is now on, on top. The headset, and what looks like to probably be gonna be some batteries and some information in that little pouch. These are the new controllers, and the batteries go in just inside. There's a little cover that comes off. I'll show you those in a moment the headset and as you can sort of see on the top the front there there are two sensors there's a top sensor it's the halo strap which that's used for adjusting sensor on the side that's also a three and a half mil jack for your headphones the Lenovo badge and another sensor on the side Okay, inside here we've got batteries for the controllers. Set up your Oculus Rift S. And the safety guide which nobody's going to read. Oh, that's quite important because a lot of laptops are going to need to use that if they don't have a full size display port. So the first thing you need to go and do is head over to oculus.com forward slash setup and download the Oculus Rift S software. Now that you've downloaded that, go ahead and open it, get started, agree to the terms and conditions, and you start downloading the rest of the software. Now this is a fairly, fairly hefty package, 7.18 gig, and will take some time, so we'll come back in a few minutes when that's downloaded. Okay, so now that's all downloaded, we can continue with the setup. And this is where it got a little bit confusing for me. For some reason, it wanted me to connect, or it was asking me to connect my uh, Oculus Rift and the Oculus sensors. Uh, obviously, we're trying to connect and set up our Oculus Rift S. Uh, and after a while, I mean, I connected everything, nothing seemed to happen, um, bit confused. So I actually then ended up just clicking uh, on skip setup and he then started to update and connect my Oculus Rift S. So if you get stuck here, just click uh, skip setup and it will then progress to updating your Oculus Rift S and installing the necessary drivers for you. Once you've got everything installed, you'll be talked through how to set up your Guardian Zone, pair your controllers, and then away you go. You'll start off with this little demo, which is really, really nice. It will show you how to, how to use your controllers, what the buttons do, etc., and then you'll end up with this wonderful demo in the Oculus Rift S. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to say too much or show too much as I don't want to spoil it for you. Now I really hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots more videos around the Oculus Rift S, some of the new games coming up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Stormland. Uh, that's supposed to be really really good so I can't wait to have a go at that and I'll bring that video to you. So please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.